We are the Beckhams, party of five. We were an average family, working to pay for all the things going about daily life in modern age. Until we decided to sell everything to explore and travel full time. This is still real life though. We are just raising our kids on the road. They still have school and chores. We still have normal life struggles, even though we are nomads. We train hard and travel far, and we are living this one life the best we know how. Welcome to Beckham's Big Rig. Hey, welcome to the Beckham house. Come on in. We're gonna begin this RV tour by visiting the master area. So this is the master bedroom. I really like sunflowers and bees, as you can tell. Um, we have a king size, not just a, um, not an RV king, but we have an actual, what did you call it, a residential? What would you call it, residential? Regular size king, yep. Yeah, okay, so it is a purple mattress. We love this thing. Anyways, it retracts. We have um, a button here that the bed will fold down and fold back up. Up here we have lots of storage. These go all the way to the back. This is my husband's side. And this is where we keep extra sheets and stuff like that. This is where we have our charging station. This is um, in the back here is um, all of our chargers. So this is my closet. Actually, my closet is in three separate parts of the house because I have so many clothes. I have the most clothes out of everybody in the house. Obviously, I'm a female. So, these are some of my shirts that I wear on the daily here. And all of these drawers are all mine. <laughs> and I have them folded a certain way so they can stay um open that top drawer no i'm not opening that top drawer um so they can stay folded nice or so they can stay compact in here these are all my exercise leggings and shorts you gotta have multiples of those these lights are really great at nighttime. they um they turn on and off and we have this blue light that works very well if you want to stay on your cell phone i like those those are fun I have these six drawers, but my husband only has this area here, this drawer here, and this area. I have all of this, 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 and so the master bedroom connects to the master bathroom here, and there's another closet in here. This is all part of the same slide out. So this area here, from here over all the way to here is a slide out. So this part will come flush with this door here. Um, come on in here. Honey bunny. Tight quarters for two people. <laughs> so this is where my husband's stuff is. All of his clothes and shirts. And then there's some more of my stuff. So yeah, so it's not only his, it's also mine. Uh, this thing here, I brought this from our house. Luckily it fits like right um flush with the cabinet here and i get extra storage for my girly stuff my hair supplies um all my hair needs all that stuff and this cabinet is really really great too because it's super super deep and there's all of our fun stuff in there that we use to clean ourselves <laughs> these are our towel racks um i like these some people use those really thin, I don't know what they're called. Do you remember what they're called? Mm. Those really thin towels, but I don't know. I just, I don't know. Oh, I forgot the name of those. Yeah, they look nice, but this I don't know if they'll dry. keep dry. Yeah, I don't know if they'll really dry you off that well. Yeah. So I'm gonna stick with traditional towels. I like it because I can still, you know, keep them here and they're out of the way. 
This is our shower. It's plenty big. It's a corner shower, but it's huge. My husband's six four. So baby tub. Let me see here. I'll show that in just a second. Here, go ahead and get in there, babe. So my husband's six four, about 250 pounds. And yeah, he fits in there pretty well and he's washing himself, giving us a good demonstration. <laughs> All right. This thing also is really awesome. I'm gonna show you this here. It is a collapsible laundry bin and it folds down like this. Just like that and it's, it's just really, really thin. We've been using this for the past year for our baby girl to take baths in because we do not have a bathtub. And this thing closes right here. It locks it. So when we travel, mm. we are not banging things around and glasses breaking, stuff like that. Yep, and as long as you don't pull on it too much, it shouldn't snap. Yeah, I'm not gonna pull on it too much. <laughs> They're wandering. Kids running, wandering outside, waiting to come in. <laughs> we made these a long time ago. We brought these from our house. My husband put them together and stained them with little chevron pieces. So this is our living room. This is where we spend most of our time. Um, so funny thing, when we purchased this RV, we thought originally that uh, this was part of the refrigerator, this whole thing. We thought this was pretty fancy. Well, as you can see in here, there's wood. Well, come to find out it is a wine cooler. It is not meant for keeping milk or perishable items cold. We found that out the hard way. Okay, so the only refrigerator that we have is this part here. This area here. We have to make sure we don't over purchase things and can, can pretty much only shop weekly. Can't yes. shop any longer than that. So this is our freezer. We like to store lots of red meat. We have, um, we do an animal based diet here at the Beckham house. Lots of red meats and lots of fruits. As you can see here, lots of fruits, lots of red meats. So we have plenty of storage in our kitchen. Over here, this is our pantry. Lots of storage up here. Gotta say stocks with that uh, protein. Steak shake. Steak shake, that's right. We have a residential microwave here. Good thing. That's all we, that's all you ever cook out of. And we all, I think most, I think all RVs have gas stoves, right? So. Yeah. This is our gas stove. We actually use it. Yes, we use it. Um, and we have more storage here. This is for our cups, medicine cabinet. We have bowls, um, other fun stuff that you normally keep in your kitchen. <laughs> so while living in this, we are trying to look for space. Um, as you need all the space you can get. So here, there used to be a panel right here that would cover this area. My husband removed it and we found out we had extra space here. So we were able to store other things that we needed to store. All RVs come with this. It's just um, insert that, um, that you can use it gives for you more extra counter space. Extra counter space. We don't really use ours. We're just kind of showing you guys for the video. We never do it because we have a uh, pretty good amount of counter space, I think. We have all up here. This is our dish drying rack since we do not have a dishwasher. That is one thing I do miss about living in a house. So is I my... pretty much do the dishes now. <laughs> it's my dishwasher. Now my husband is my dishwasher. These are called zebra shades. So fancy. Fancy. <laughs> So you can let in a little bit of light, lots of light, or whatever you want. Mm -hmm. So the guy amped up who sold us this RV, this couch. We have broken almost all of the pulleys 
that release the reclining system. Not sure why. I don't know. We weren't like crazy with it. I don't. I don't know. But we're hopefully we're gonna get it checked out when we go back to Florida. Anyways, let's move on. So this is our fireplace. We've been in Colorado in the winter time, and this thing is a lifesaver. This thing heats up the whole living area and bedroom. All right, this is the fun part of the RV. This is where the kids stay, where the dogs stay. This is where we eat our dinners. Okay, come on in. What are these over here? Oh, those. These are our weekly schedules. They are wet erase little things that cling to the door. I love having these. We like to plan out everything, because if not, we go crazy. Hmm, I'll have to put a link to these on uh, for Amazon on the page. Yeah, we're learning that. We'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what sold me on this RV. Any mom with boys will appreciate this. So this, here's our curtain. It is a shower and a um, bathroom. Shower. Shit and shower. Shit and shower. <laughs> These are everywhere. They're all over Amazon. We can hold the boys extra stuff for um, their hygiene. Um, and then we have these, one of these in our bathroom too. We didn't show you guys these. This for shampoo, body wash, something super simple that you can just connect to the bathroom. Boys have their own little mirror I put in there too. Um, Cause there's no mirror in here. There's lizards in there too. Ooh. Yep. Hooks are very popular in RVs. You'll see hooks everywhere. Yes, these did not come with our RV. We have towel hooks, hat hooks. Up here, there is this net storage. This is where I like to keep our beach stuff, beach towels, frisbees, goggles. Over here is the baby's area. She used to stay in this crib, but she does not anymore. So our baby used to stay back here with the boys and sleep until she got her little leg over and now she can climb up. So she sleeps with us now. <laughs> so right now we're just using her crib as storage for some Marco stick shake. <laughs> right here is our dog crate. It is enormous. We have a huge dog, King Corso, his name's Diego. And we are using this right now as a table. His crate works as a table, so it's great. This is our ice maker baby stuff my husband likes to have his tools handy over here and i love Alexa. yeah sorry i'm having trouble Oop. connecting you talk to her <laughs> whoops it looks like a router issue so try restarting it <laughs> unplug the router wait Alexa. Oh. don't say you're having trouble connecting oh. to <laughs> i like to have baskets i like to have baskets all over the rv i think that at least having a few will decrease clutter at least you can hide it a little bit um, I don't like clutter. Clutter it's just goes small... from the table to the basket, right? Yes, I guess so. <laughs> it's a small space, so I don't like to have things everywhere or laid out. I like to keep it neat and tidy. These are my husband's tools. I hate them here, but I have to deal with it. Um, these are our kids' notebooks and, and stuff they use for school, workbooks and such. Up here is our son Mason's bedroom. We had them switch. Uh, not too long ago. All right, this is a queen mattress up here, an RV queen. This is our 11 year old space. It's a little bit smaller. We will have them trade off back and forth, switching beds, um, just, just because so somebody could have the big bed. My husband and his dad Chuck made and installed this in the RV. This did not come with the RV, we had uh put this in here this is where our boys clothes are baby clothes um boy shirts and then we have underwear socks here this is a, also a charging station for their laptops that get slid in right here my husband came up with that it was awesome um our boys toothbrushes charges in here um, up there there's also more storage it folds up and out some of the baby clothes are here and then we got the boys' clothes here. Um, okay, baby likes to pull things out, so. <laughs> the bottom couple of drawers have the safety latches, so if you didn't notice throughout as we were walking, some things have little little uh, safety latches on it. Here is where we eat dinner. 
Here is where our boys also do school. They have their laptops set up here. We have two full, huge windows on each side. This one's covered up right now because right here, this is where we get most of the sun throughout the day. So we like to keep this one covered. My husband also installed these LED lights, which are pretty cool underneath the bed. They give a little bit more lighting out here during the nighttime. I also like to keep it a little bit personal back here with all of our pictures from our travels. This is the Florida Keys. We have this whole ceiling is going to be one day filled up with a whole bunch of adventures. Let's see what Dago's doing. Snoring. Hi, Dago. You sleeping? He's like, why are you guys bothering me right now? I don't know if you can see in there. How does Anthony get to his bed? He uses this ladder here, but we keep it off to the side because the baby also likes to use it. So. And she has been caught at the top of this thing once or twice. Yeah, it was pretty scary. So this is where we like to collect our stickers from every place that we've been to. Um, we have it on this side. There we go. There's California, all of California, Pismo Beach. We got Colorado, New Mexico, Yellowstone. We like to keep them like close together. There's Glacier. And on this side as well, on the other side of the cabinet, we have more stickers for our collections. Okay, so we have lots of things outside, not just inside the RV. Come on. Now it's time to show you my favorite part of RV living. It's our outdoor gym. Hey, babe. Hey, what's going on? What you doing? Training hard every some day. Some guns. Crushing it every day. Oh yeah, I found it. What? Okay. All right, so let's show you all the outdoor equipment. All right, let's start here. What do we have? These are our farmer carries. Farmer handles, we use them for farmer carries. It's part of the strongman training. Uh, we typically follow a strongman program. The one we're following right now is called Everyday Carry by never sate um it consists of you know mostly sandbags and uh farmer carries heavy deadlift stuff like that but so here's my sandbag and here is desiree's sandbag you can tell there's a huge difference his is about 210 pounds mine's just about what 100 pounds about 100 pounds yeah these are our things that we took from our house we had a fully stocked gym at our old house we had a three-car garage it had two lifting platforms, two deadlift platforms. Um, there was two squat racks. We had a whole bunch of stuff. So this is our assault bike. This is a bad boy. And this is our Concept 2 rower. We travel with these in our toy hauler. And they come out every single time we park at a new location. All right, next we'll see we have kettlebells. The great thing about these kettlebells is they are adjustable so they go from 70 pounds down to I think about 10 pounds that saves space but we can still get good workouts with, with the heavy weight so we have two barbells one's Desiree's and one is mine as you can see this is a squat rack which also serves as a a pull-up bar You can only do about two of those. If you try to do any no, more, you probably have been gassed and winded for the rest of the day. So, My max is like 12, okay? Interesting information about this squat rack is that it is called a rig rack. Excellent. And it folds up, everything folds apart and it'll actually stay stored right in the bed of the truck. So it doesn't take up a ton of space again. So we carry approximately 400 pounds of weight and the camper that's that's the that's the plates that's the barbells uh there might be a little bit more when you add in the uh the uh, kettlebells come on over this way mason of course you got to have um some lighter dumbbells and we have the big adjustable dumbbells 
This is where we store all of our gym equipment. A lot of our weights go in here, our barbells go in here, kettlebells, the bumper plates, everything gets stored under the undercarriage here. Okay, so we have this, uh, it's called a tailgater trader, I think is what it's called. Traeger, tailgater trigger here. And you can fit three racks of ribs, plugs in right there to the camper. It's good to go. We get to have all we the meat. We cook all of our meats on here. Yep. Okay, come over this way. As you can see, we have a four bike bike rack and we lock all the bikes together. And then you have a couple of compartments over here. Why do we lock our bikes? Because Mason's bike was stolen when we were in Texas. That's we were great. in Texas, his bike was stolen, so we decided we were gonna have to lock up the bikes all the time. Turns out the kids still don't like to lock up their bikes, so I just keep mine and mommy's bike locked up. Extra storage up here. You can see it's kind of a mess that normally looks better when we're actually moving because it fits in a tighter spot. In this compartment, you'll find a generator. In this compartment, you'll find tools. Some of my tools and stuff that I have. Uh, let's see. On this rig, it comes with two propane tanks. 230 30 pound propane tanks. This is actually a whole house filtration system. And I just modified it so it would work for a camper. Uh, the good thing about it is, is you're going to filter out, I think, more than what you would if you just use a regular inline filter. Anybody knows about filters knows what I'm talking about. That big blue thing there is used for um, when we don't have full hookups, and that's where we drain all the all the black tanks and gray tanks. Hey, let's show them your toy. All right, let's go check it out. There she is. We call her the old midnight, you know what I mean? <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't get to ride as often as I'd like. Turns out that traveling can be quite busy. But there she is. I like to unload it and load it and then set her outside and make her look pretty. So this is a 45 foot fifth wheel toy hauler. It has a 16 foot garage. It weighs 13,100 pounds dry. Um, it is only a dual axle. You will find that it is uh, one of the lighter, uh, you won't, you're not gonna find many 45 foot fifth wheels that weigh only 13,100 dry. And uh, um, the reason is because it's got such a large garage, a 16 foot garage, of, it's literally 16 feet of almost empty. Um, whereas if you had a 45 foot regular, uh, um, regular fifth wheel that's not a toy hauler that thing is probably going to be dry in the 16 17 you have several thousand pound more um and let's see it's a rogue armored vengeance the sucker holds up in the cold holds up into the heat we have you know? three slides there are three slides one in the master bedroom one in the living room and one in the kitchen that's right <clears throat> she is a beautiful beast What was your favorite place to see? Let's see if you know what it is. Do you know what my favorite place is? I don't know. Do you have something new? Because it's no. definitely not the keys. It's the keys. It's so. always the keys. He does not like that I love the keys so much. There's nothing there. Florida is our home state, but... There's nothing in the keys. I love the clear blue water. I love being able to just... When you're sweating and you just run into the water and the beach, it's my jam. He is not a very beach person. He is like more of like a mountain cold person. We're, we're like hot and cold sometimes, most of the time. Yeah. But. After everything I've seen, there's no way on, on earth I would ever, ever, ever pick Keys as being number one. There's nothing to see. It doesn't even come close to matching any desert land we've seen. We do love Any mountains we've love, seen. Love the desert. The only thing that the keys, which all of Florida has, is temperature. And that's that's absolutely it. But you can get that temperature in anywhere in Florida. Such a hater. Earth. Such a hater. 
You don't love snorkeling and seeing the giant grouper, the goliath grouper, the sea turtles. The buffalo that was way more magnificent than That's anything in the ocean. One animal compared to a goliath grouper and the schools of fish. Yes, that kidding? one buffalo trumps all that stuff that I've seen millions of times. You're crazy. The buffalo were, were really cool though. They like were so active. Yeah, there's nothing. We have not seen anything cooler animal wise than those buffalo. Nope, I still have to go with the keys. The Goliath grouper, they put those in tanks. You see them all the time. What do you guys think? Ocean, sea life, or buffalo? Desert, mountains, buffalo. Water, sun, beach, coconuts. Hot, hot ass, muggy, <laughs> miserable. Or freezing your ass off. Do you like that? Like cold. I wasn't cold in Yosemite. It was snowing one day. I wasn't cold. So that concludes our RV tour. Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Why'd you get so scared? Because you're psycho. I'm not a psycho. Cut him. I will. A reason why I like the RV, like living inside of the RV, is because back when we had the house, we are always far away from each other. But now since we have an RV, we're close to each other and we're not far away from each other and we can finally like communicate closer with the, with my family. Okay, Anthony, what's your most favorite place you've been to and why? Definitely uh, Key West. Get goggles on and dive into the water into this crystal blue water and you can just see all the crabs and everything and it's super cool. Thanks for watching our RV tour! Bye! Bye. 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 Bye.